Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well we talk about Windows 10 22H2 a lot of people think that it's not a thing but it is and it is going to be available later this year but if you want to move on to Windows 10 22H2 you can do this already right now if you look at your Windows version you're at 22H2 now let me show you my Windows version, this is Windows 10, I've moved to 22H2 rather than 21H2, 19045.1826. So this is the next version of Windows this fall, and it is so small of an update that it takes just a few seconds to install. It's really, really quick. Now, I will sh actually post the links in the description below where you can download the packages. The links are the ones that I can show you here I put in my notepad. So x64 for 64-bit users of Windows 10. This is the link to download the uh, package, the update package from Windows Update. And x86, and this comes from the update catalog, so it's a Windows Update catalog download. x86 for 32-bit systems is the other one there so um, and you can't go wrong if you choose the wrong one it's just going to say that it's not compatible for your machine so i'll post the link to these two downloads they'll download a small package that you just click and install once it's installed it's going to ask you to restart and once you restart it's going to be on 22h2 you're going to be in the next version of windows 10 like i am here on this uh, windows 10 machine word of caution of course you know, you're going to a version that's still not official. So um, it, there's always, you know, a word of caution to give out there. I recommend to everybody to wait for the original, to, to, for, you know, the official version. But if you want to move on right now, what does it offer you? Nothing. Actually, the only thing that it seems to do is just bump up the number to 22H2 and that's it. And give you, of course, with that, more um uh, time with windows because 22h2 is uh, once again 18 month cycle so uh, this fall means it's going to be good until the mid 2024 so that means if you do it now you got basically two years of um having you know updates and being quiet with windows 10 uh, like I said, if you want to move on, move on, but I recommend that you wait. And for those that do want, the links are in the description below. Uh, it took total, if I click on the file, installed, restart, I don't think it took more than two or three minutes. It's very, very quick install. And of course, it doesn't bring any new features. So don't expect any new features. That's why I'm waiting. It's probably the best option. You have to have the June... 2022 updates installed so that's very important if you don't have your june 2022 updates installed it's not going to work but as long as you have the latest updates for june you will be moving on to 22h2 with this simple little update from microsoft if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching our videos